Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Thursday, October the 1st. September is over. The S&P lost 7% on the quarter. It was down 2.5% in the month of September. But yesterday we did get a bounce and a reversal rally after those lows that we saw on Tuesday. We bounced up yesterday up 34 in the E-mini S&P, 1909. The, uh, like I said, that was up 2.5% in that broad market index futures. Dow added 1.5%, 1 and 1 16,172, up 223 points, but is 2,000 points off the all-time tip top. The Nasdaq added 2% as well, 41.63, up 88 points. The dollar is continuing to move higher, 96.48, up 49, solidly above the 96 level, pushing that euro currency below 112, 111.79 was settled down 93 points. Saw some unwinding in treasuries yesterday with the stock market rally. 157.11, down 18 there. So we moved down, so that pushed yields back up just a little bit. Crude oil still going absolutely nowhere but sideways. 45.10 was a close down 15 cents. The high of the session was 45.85. The low was 44.70. So a dollar range. We've been stuck, stuck, stuck for a month between 40 between about 47 and 44 right now. And lastly, with that strong dollar, guess what? Gold was down, down, 11, down $12 at 11.15, so it's got support at 1100 that we'll wanna watch on a weekly pivot basis. After that big bounce yesterday, where the market stand here on this Thursday morning ahead of the employment report tomorrow, well, we're getting some positive follow through as well, up another 10 points in the E-mini S&P, uh, 1919, up 94 in the Dow Futures, 16,266, and up 31 in the NASDAQ 100 at 4194. The dollar steady, but still up 5, 96.53. The euro currency, 111.60, down 19, still below the 112 level. Bonds steady as well, 157.13, up 3 ticks. 287 is the yield on the 30 year, and 206 in the 10 year note. Crude oil up a dollar, 46.10, trying to inch higher, we'll have to see. 50 is the key, key, key level up, up, uh, up above as resistance. We haven't been there in a while. And lastly, gold down another $3 at 11.12. So to wrap up this current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, stock index futures are stronger, up 10 in the S&P, up 94 in the Dow futures, and up 31 in the NASDAQ 100. I will see you early Friday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day after the employment numbers come out. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.